What's going on? This is Cody. I got my buddy Chris over here. I, Yo! of course, got my buddy Mark here. But we have a very special edition of the latest news to keep you in the groove with our friend Maya. Maya, how are you? Good. Uh, just good? Great. Okay, I thought great because you know what? We have a very special guest on the phone. You know her as Principal Karen from Bizarre Vark. Rajma Katow, how are you? Woo! I'm great. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> So we have a huge crowd here. They're all cheering. It's amazing. Oh, I feel the love. Oh, Thank good. You. Good, good, good. Maya. Yeah. Take it away, girl. Take it away. Okay, so um, how did you get your start in acting? That's a good question. I got my start in acting when I was about five years old. I had a part in a Park District play. And I forgot, I had one line and I forgot my one line <laughs> and <laughs> it wasn't the debut we had all hoped for. <laughs> hey, but it led to great things, right? Right. I had, I had very, very bad stage fright when I was growing up, but I loved performing. And so I just kept at it and my parents and my family were really supportive and here we are. Awesome. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you consider to be your greatest accomplishment so far? Ooh, my greatest accomplishment. I hope I haven't yet achieved what will be my greatest accomplishment in life because I always want to keep growing and learning and doing new things. Um, I think maybe just persistence has been an, an accomplishment for me because it's an industry that you kind of have to stick with for a long time to try to, you know, be a working actor and, and um, make a living doing what I love. So maybe, maybe that, does that count? It counts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Um, so what, what are your hobbies? I love food. I like to try new restaurants and new foods. Um, I'm a vegetarian, but I live in LA, so there's a ton of options and really, really great chefs out here. And I love traveling. So try, we try to take a big trip every year, somewhere international if we can. Um, I was born in England and I grew up in the States. And so um, I have family all over the world and I like to go visit them and see different cities and, and experience new cultures. Those cool. are some pretty cool hobbies. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to say like collecting rubber bands or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's way better. Well, that too. That yeah, too. okay. <laughs> I actually didn't think you were going to say that, but those are cool hobbies. Have you seen those big rubber band balls that people make, though? That, those are pretty cool. I mean, there's, that, there's some work that goes into those. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah. There's even a place... I don't know where it is off the top of my head that has like the biggest ball of rubber bands. It's probably ever. Kansas or something. Feels like Kansas, maybe Bakersfield. Yeah, you can it. like take a road trip and and stop by all these really cool places where people have made these amazing things out of their rubber bands. I think you've got your new uh, your next travel destination. <laughs> my next travel destination. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's set. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. I um, know that you're involved with uh, Laughter for Change and mm -hmm. are also involved with um, Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, so how and why did you get involved with them? My very funny and very talented friend, Ernie, um, worked started working with Laughter for Change and put together a group of us that would go to Children's Hospital Los Angeles and do improv and play improv games with, you know, the patients and their families there. And um, CHLA is such a great hospital that does really important, wonderful work and getting to meet the patients and their families who are all these extraordinary kids um, is really fun. You know, I think selfishly, I have a great time with them. They, and they're so funny, you know, they participate in our improv games and we're all just laughing and having a good time. And, um, it's, I think it's a win-win for everyone because we just get to go and, and laugh for a while in the afternoon and, um, 
Yeah, I think I think people, you know, putting a smile on people's faces and and them putting a smile on mine is 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 a great reward. That truly is a great reward. Very cool. Yeah. Um, Thanks. Yeah. So, um, is there an actor or actress that inspired you to start acting? I have been inspired by so many different performers over the years. I think um, I grew up watching shows like Friends and Will and Grace. And, um, you know, when I was younger, there were other sitcoms. And I, I've always gravitated, I think, towards um, sitcoms like those. Um, I just really like the comedy in them. So, you know, Courtney Cox is brilliant and Jennifer Aniston and um, Lisa Kudrow from Friends. I loved watching them and Deborah Messing. And, um, and even the men, you know, Sean Hayes, I think, is hysterical. Um, and so I, I, I was inspired by all of them. And Megan Mullally is, I think, one of the funniest actresses out there. Her character of Karen is just, I mean, ridiculous and amazing. And so that's the writers that created her and also the actress that portrays her. So I've, I've been inspired by everyone I watch. You know, I, I think everyone offers something different. Maya's a bit of a Will and Grace fan, so that's a great answer. Are you really? Isn't yeah. It's a great show. It's <laughs> such a good show. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. When, I was, when I was in Chicago, I got to perform at a theater that was outside of the city, and Sean Hayes had performed there years before I did. So I didn't get to meet him, but just knowing that he had played the piano there and, and sung there was like, this huge inspiration for me because I felt like, oh my goodness, if he was here and now I'm here, maybe I can be a working actor too. So that was, that was a pretty big deal for me back then. Nice. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about the show, Maya? Um, I don't know. I just think it's really, I just think it's really funny. And there's this, one episode from like um one of the newer episodes that like mm-hmm. I really like the message in it because it's just like a really sweet episode yeah and they managed so, to do that right yeah. yeah yeah I think that's great writing yeah mm-hmm. um so do you have any new projects coming up I, let's see, I have, well, I'm working on some writing projects and, um, I just appeared on an episode of the big bang theory, um, that aired last week. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That was a really fun shoot. Those guys are all hilarious. Did you say Bazinga? (laughs) I did not say Bazinga. I actually asked Jim Parsons about, um, when he did an episode of the Long Island Medium. <gasps> really? <laughs> I, had, I played a psychic, and when I was researching psychics, uh, an episode of Long Island Medium popped up, and oh, she's, she's done work with a lot of different celebrities, right. and he was one of them, and I oh. watched that episode. And then fast forward to me being on set with him, I said, I got to ask you about the Long Island Medium. He was like, oh, he seemed surprised. I guess maybe a lot of people don't ask about that. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And, uh, and he, said it was, he said it was a really cool experience for him. And, and um, I was glad, you know, I, I didn't know if it was all just for TV or something, but Interesting. it seemed legit. Well, there you go. Interesting yeah. stuff. What else you got, Maya? Yeah. Um, so what's it like, um, working with Disney and how did like your relationship with them start? It started like all the jobs I get with an audition and I went in and auditioned for the role of principal Karen and then had a second audition with, um, you know, more people from the show and, and, and the network and, um, I was really excited to get cast. I mean, I grew up watching the Disney Channel as well, and um, it, it's such a fun kind of ridiculous character <laughs> that um, 
I don't know. She, she kind of just came out of me organically and, and they, <laughs> they seemed to like what, what I did with it. And um, I was so grateful for the opportunity to, to be recurring on the show and get to come back and play with them because the girls are, I mean, all of them, uh, the, the girls and boys, all the, all the, the whole cast, they're so funny and so talented and really good kids. So um, it's been a really great journey. Cool. Um, yeah, I love Principal Karen. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Maya, what do you yeah. like? She's what do you, a little kooky. What do you like about Principal <laughs> yeah. Karen? What? Maya, I said, what do you like about Principal Karen, Maya? Um, just kind of her overall character, just yeah. how she makes you laugh? <laughs> yeah. Anything specific? That's awesome. Yeah, the, um, I remember there was this, like, there was this one time at the um, beginning of the school year where my school was having a pep rally and I was um, telling my mom that day before we, um, she dropped my sister and I off at school. I was like, I only want to go to the pep rally unless it's like the one in Bizarre Park. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> with with that. Uh... Yeah, Principal Karen bringing out a an owl, but they named it Hawk, yeah. so it works. It's Hawk the Owl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. That'd be a good rally right there. Yeah, and then I I always I always tell like my sister and my mom, I'm always like, I wish Principal Karen was real. I wish she was our <laughs> principal. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if Principal Karen actually does anything at work or if she's too busy trying to get all the students to be her best friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But that's, that's what makes her fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, other than Bizarre Vark, um, do you have a favorite Disney Channel show? You know, I I have a friend, and this isn't a show, but um, I have a good friend who was in the Teen Beach um, movies. <gasps> and who is that good friend? I'm sighing for Maya because that's like... She's speechless. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like the Teen Beach movies? My friend yeah. is Chrissy Fitt. Um, she played Chi-Chi in the movies. And um, so I've watched those because of her, and, and she's, you know, so funny in those. And I, I, I liked that because it was kind of a throwback to those sur sur summer surfy beach movies. So I think that was really fun. Um, and I think right now, aside from Bizarre Dark, I like Andy Mack. I think what they're doing is really different and unique and I think kind of um, edgy for the channel, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah. What do you like? Yeah. You just said them all. Yeah. 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 Bizarre all of Bar, them. Teen Beach, Handy Mac. <laughs> yeah. Stuck yeah. in the middle. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's oh, no, awesome. I like all of them. <laughs> Good. <laughs> she likes all of them. Yeah. You got a fan yeah. right here. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh, is there anything that you're currently binge watching? I just started. I don't know if this qualifies as binge watching because I literally just started it. But the Good Place with <gasps> Kristen Bell. That's a good one. <laughs> Is that a good one too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so don't tell me what happens because I just started it. But I really like Kristen Bell. I think yeah. she's she's great. She's so likable in real life, and she's so funny. And of course, yeah. she's in Frozen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you There's can't go that. wrong with that. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. What show are you too. binge watching? <laughs> Mine's thinking. Oh. She just said She's she like, also loves oh. Good Place. Yeah, great show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, well. I think we have similar tastes here, Maya. You got to <laughs> tell me what else to watch then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, She'll give you homework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, that she will. <laughs> great. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there was a couple weeks ago, my family and I, we binged watched this show called Big Little Lies um, with Reese Witherspoon. Mm -hmm. That's on my list. I haven't watched it yet, but I really want to. 
It's really good. That's your homework yeah. then. Yeah. There you go. Done. That's your homework. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And isn't Nicole Nicole Kidman's in that? She won some awards, right? Yeah. For her work in that. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. to watch it, see what they did. Yeah. It's, it's really good. <laughs> um yeah, I was telling my friend at school, I was like, well, over the weekend, we binge watched this show. And she looked at me and she was like, Maya, because normally a season has like 22 episodes. I was like, there were only seven episodes, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You have to have like the flu or something to watch 22 episodes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, there was only one season so far, and there's only seven episodes in the season, so it's okay. <laughs> That's doable, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, how how can you, like, play Principal Karen without just cracking up all the time? <laughs> <laughs> well, because we get to rehearse throughout the week. So the way a sitcom works is you usually um, are on set for about five days. So you do a read through and then you do a couple days of rehearsals. And so you generally get all your giggles out when you're rehearsing, you know, and then when you're finally shooting it on the fourth and fifth day, you kind of, you know, you've kind of done it enough where you don't, you don't break, but you know, we all do sometimes. So <laughs> sometimes you do something yeah. kind of ridiculous, especially when you're playing someone like principal Karen and <laughs> you get the giggles yeah. and then you just have to try again. <laughs> they call cut and you give it another shot. <laughs> um, so are there any similarities between you and principal Karen? Oh, that's a good question. She, Principal Karen really wants people at her core happy. Um, she really wants to be liked, and so she goes a little too far sometimes. But I think at her core, she wants people to be happy and enjoy school. And I think that I have that in common with her because I really love when people find things that make them happy and then pursue those things. Um, I think because I was encouraged to do that by, you know, my family and everything, being an actor and being a performer. So um, that's what I always encourage other people to do is work hard, but, you know, follow your heart and do something that you love doing. So that's, that's probably that's probably what we have in common. Besides yeah. that, I don't know. She she wears pretty loud clothes and <laughs> she tries a little too hard. <laughs> You've got a pet owl named Hawk, right? And oh yes, of course. Okay. I do have you my pet owl. Comment. We yeah. have that in common too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a really fun episode because there was a real live owl on set and he was awesome. Nice. He would he would be hooting in the background. Ooh. So we'd be like rehearsing or shooting and you'd just be like, Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, you gotta be quiet. We're working. <laughs> Little Mr. Hawk, be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> um uh, do you have a favorite episode of Bizarre Park? Who? Um, I don't know what one that I'm not in. You mean, or one that I am in? It doesn't matter either way. Yeah, Both. Either way. <laughs> oh well, I really, I really liked shooting um, the one with the with the one with the owl um, with Hawk the owl and. Um, I really liked chocolate bananas because I just thought that was really hilarious that these girls, uh, the, the Bizarre Bart girls shot uh, one of their videos and they were dressed as chocolate bananas and then they realized they don't actually say chocolate bananas and the costumes actually look like something else entirely. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and yeah. it, it's just such, it was just such a funny, you know, fun um, concept. And so that was, a, that was a really fun one. And then there's an episode where um, Frankie's dad um, is, like, working a lot. And so, like, her trying to find ways to spend time with him, I thought that, was, that one was really well done. So I'm not in that one, but I think that they did a good job on that. And um, a friend of mine plays Frankie's dad, Tom Choi. So that was cool that we were on the same show. 
Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so in the show, you're um, a, like a super fan of Bizarre Park. <laughs> and um, so, it, so is there anyone that you're a super fan of and that you've been starstruck by when you've met them? Ooh, who have I met that I got starstruck by? I worked in entertainment news for a little while, and so I was really lucky. I got to meet a lot of very cool people. Um, I met Carrie Fisher, and that was, you know, she's she's Hollywood royalty. She's Star Wars royalty. So I think that was probably probably like the the one where I was like a little bit tongue tied and and didn't know how to. <laughs> how to act or what to say. Cause I was like, what do you, what do you say to princess Leia? <laughs> <laughs> I think you tell her you like her hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she, she was just such a cool lady. You know, she just, she was funny and she was really, she was just a really cool cat. So it was, it was very neat to be in her presence and get to meet her, I think. And then I don't know. I feel like I'd be starstruck to meet a lot of other people that I've not met yet. Um, I like like a lot of singers. Like I love Sia. I think she's so cool, and I want to see her face. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Um. Well, here at the studio, I've gotten to meet. Why don't we? And Ooh. in real life. And then I got to meet Emery Kelly from Forever in Your Mind once, and so I was starstruck all of those times. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then I got to, uh, when I got to interview Madison and Olivia, I was really starstruck. They're, aren't they the nicest? They're such yeah. great people. Like, they're so down to earth and lovely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's awesome. so cool yeah. that you got to talk to them. Yeah. And it's so and cool then, that we get to talk to you. Yeah, I was going to say, oh. and then also talking to you, I'm a bit starstruck, oh. so. <laughs> there you oh. go. Well, I'm starstruck talking to you. I mean, anyone who wants, anyone who enjoys what I do and, and takes the time to reach out to me is, I'm a big fan of that person because that's very flattering. So thank you. That's awesome. What else yeah. are you wondering, Maya? Yeah. Um. Do you have a quotation or a motto that you live by? Um, yeah, I think I have several. I love inspirational, a good inspirational quote, right? Put that on a mug and I will drink from it. <laughs> but um, I, 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 one, of, one of the ones I like is, I don't even know who said this, but uh, a year from now, you'll wish you started today. Hmm. And I think it's good because for me, it means not that you waited too long to start, but that you always have a chance. You, there's always a chance to try something new and to start something. And, you know, it's never too late um, to just say, hey, I'll do it now. And then you'll always be happy that you started it rather than going, oh, I should have done it sooner. I just should have done it sooner. So um, so I like that. I think, I think it's good to always, you know, believe that anything is possible. Um, so I think that's a good one. That's a great one. And especially like Thanks. the older you get, you think a year ago seemed like a month ago. I totally should have started, <laughs> you know, and just put the hard work in right. and time's going to pass either way. You might as well make things better. Exactly. Exactly. So I think that's a good one just to, to remember that you've, you've always got time to, to try something new or to start something or to change your circumstances or whatever, whatever it is you want to do. Um, but yeah, I like that. Nice. What about you? Do you have one? Um, there's this motto by one of my favorite singers. His name is John Clausen and he, mm -hmm. um, and he just says now matters. Ah. Which I, that's one of my favorite quotes. Cause that's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a be in the moment kind of thing. Nice. Yeah. 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 I like that a lot. 
something it's my, so yeah. simple and yet it means so much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's I what also I like, thinking. I believe, Oh, sorry. What were you going to say? Oh no, I, I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know who this one was either. It might be mother Teresa, but I'm not sure. But, um, uh, that we've been put on earth to love and to be loved. And I like that one just because I think it's good to spread. It's good to spread love. That it is. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I think, I think mine's got two more questions for you. No, just Great. one. Oh, just one. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so who do you consider to be a real-life superhero and why? A real-life superhero. Oh, my goodness. Um, you know, I'd have to say that I think the Obamas, can I say two people, like a superhero yeah. family? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think um, President Obama and Michelle Obama um, just did so much to change how people saw themselves and what people believed they could accomplish and um, really breaking the mold and um, doing so much for their country. So I think, I think that they're superheroes. I think they're really extraordinary people. And they're continuing to do that, even though they're not in office anymore with the Obama Foundation. Um, and so I think selfless people who really give back to their community like that are, are real-life superheroes. That's yeah. great. Very good. Yeah. You guys are yeah. totally alike. Maya carries a uh, Michelle Obama purse. Oh, <laughs> so you and me, Maya. We got to be together. I like, I like that. <laughs> and where did you get that purse? Because I think I need to get one. <laughs> where did I? She's like, I, I don't know. I got Not it sure. someplace at a, at a mall. <laughs> <laughs> you know that mall awesome. someplace. It's a good mall. Sure, yeah. it's the best sure, the one. someplace mall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also personally have like hashtag life goals that I want my arms to look like Michelle Obama's. That's a little more superficial, but she has got amazing arms. <laughs> And it all starts with eating healthy. Eating Good healthy. job, Michelle Obama. That's it, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Kids eat healthy. Yeah. <laughs> they have arms like uh, the former first lady, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. she's been on Ellen a couple of times, and the, she and Ellen once had like a push-up competition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I then... Yeah, and then Ellen was saying that Michelle cheated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <And right>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because she eats healthy. Yeah. That's her cheating. There you go. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I love that. And then yeah. when she goes back on, they always bring it up. Like they're always like, "You cheated? No, I didn't cheat. I beat you." You know, they're like going back and forth every time. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. Um. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Um. I loved being able to talk to you. And I went to school today and I was telling one of my teachers, I was like, I get to, I get to talk to Principal Karen today. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for having me, Colin. This was so fun. And I yeah. love that you love the show. And thank you for watching it. You know, yeah. that's how these shows get made and get to stay on the air is because of, you know, fans and audience members like you. Well, if you ever Thanks. find yourself in Colorado or in the Denver area, you've got a standing invite to come hang out at the Seacrest studio, all right? Oh, thank you so much. That would be super fun. That'd be awesome. All right. Thanks yeah. for calling in. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.